I'm Tom Patry, and we're back to discuss spoke number one, the body and its condition. You know, 25 years ago, fitness on both the LPGA and PGA tours wasn't really an issue. Well, that's changed. Today, if you follow those respective tours, both of them have extensive fitness trailers that, tra that follow their players from city to city. We're joined now by Missy Bertiotti of the LPGA Tour. Hi, Hi, Missy. Thanks for coming out. We appreciate it. Good to be here. Let's take the folks at home <clears throat> through a couple of simple exercises for their flexibility um, okay. that might help them in their day-to-day -day golf, okay? If you grab the stretch pole for me. All right. And uh, do me a favor. Let's put that behind your back, underhanded, if you would. And do two things for me in, in, in progressive steps. First, let's bend from the waist at 90 degrees. And once you get to that position, let's slowly lift the bar away from your back. Okay. Good. And you can see Missy's flexibility is pretty good, folks at home. Missy, tell me where you're feeling that right now. In my shoulders a lot. Okay. Up by your rotocuff area? Yeah. And, okay. I, and also in my hamstrings. Okay, up in your legs there too. Good. Good stand up, Miss. Very simple exercise. It's going to work your rotocuffs a little bit. And believe it or not, work up the backs of your legs, okay? Some areas that people don't normally address. And probably the rotocuff is very under-addressed in people's day-to-day -day routines, okay? Let's now, Miss, turn around and put it in front of you overhanded and just again you're going to bend from the waist at 90 degrees don't bounce do it nice and slowly and just hang in your position wherever your maximum flexibility is i can do this okay well you can see this person right here has got a pretty good range of motion the folks don't expect you're going to get there on the first try when i first started doing this drill i could get to about mid calf at the most it took me three or four months to get to my knuckles to the ground that takes a long time again hamstrings lower back are both going to be addressed. Okay, Missy, if you stand up for me. Let's put the bar over your shoulders, okay? And let's face the camera, if you would. Good. Take your stance about normal shoulder width. Good. And get your hands wide on the bar. Okay. Okay? Now, if I let Missy rotate from here, her flexibility, obviously, is pretty good. She'd have a pretty big range of motion. So I'm going to ask her to do a couple of things. Number one, I want you to tow your feet in quite a bit. More. So now by towing her feet in, folks, that's going to restrict the amount of movement she can occur in her hip, that can occur in her hips, okay? It's going to create some resistance from her lower body. Missy, I'm going to then ask you to take your eyes and focus on something out in the distance and not move your head, and now make some rotations. Okay. That's a lot tighter. Than you normally could do, right? Yeah. Okay? Folks, you see people on the first tee put a club over their shoulders and start, you know, kind of rotating from side to side? not really doing anything. Their head's moving, their lower body's creating, there's no resistance in their lower body. You need some resistance below the waist and your head fixed, meaning your eyes, on an object in the distance. Now there's some separation and some resistance. Now you're going to, you know, you're going to loosen up your back and you're going you're to create a result. Okay? Good. Let's put that down for a minute, Miss, and let's grab a club if you would. Okay, good. I want you to put that club upside down, in other words, grip down. Good. Put one hand underneath it, right. Whatever hand you choose to put underneath it, I want you to put it in front of the opposite hip, okay? Hand above it on the top of the club head, and I want you to push up as much as you can. So it's lengthening out this arm, stretching out this rotor cuff. Now very slowly, miss, keeping this against your side, bend forward from the waist. A lot in the shoulder, a lot. Right here? Yeah. Okay. And how about down your back a little bit? A lot. Okay. So right down this whole side of the body, she's lengthening out these muscles quite a bit, okay? Let's switch hands now. Stretch it up. up. Up first, right? Yeah, that really feels good. Okay, stand up a second, miss. So there's three things in this exercise. One, make sure your hands are applied underneath, pressure upward, lengthening your arm, against your side, taunt, nice and, nice and tight against your side, and then bend from the waist. Okay? And she's going to feel this down this whole side of her body here. Okay? And up through her rotor cuff. Okay? So those are four simple exercises that you can go through at home and or before each round of golf. We make a couple of points. Stretching and flexibility are key to your range of motion. Okay? Most people that I teach at the club level don't have a range of motion. Okay? If you don't have a range of motion, how are you going to create a pivot or, or a golf swing? Okay? So this is important. Your flexibility is a very important issue. Okay? Most people do a couple exercises, two seconds, they're on the first tee. Please take some time. It's not too much to ask you five to seven minutes to, you know, to elongate these muscle groups. Also, it's going to prevent injury. You know, back injuries are very common. If we see a guy like Freddie Couples hurting his back with his flexibility, what are your possibilities? 
Next, we'll discuss spoke number two, the mind and the athlete's thought process. And this is going to help me with that.